Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee and the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well. Um, oh, and uh, happy Monday. Yeah, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> oh, but I've got this one week left and then, then we're on spring break, so. Oh, that's good stuff. Good stuff. All right, well. Uh, I think it, it's been a while, so I think an introduction is due. Uh, my name is John Guru, and I'm from Joy Lutheran Church in Richmond, Texas. Um, back when the, the pandemic was going on, they shut down the churches, and we were not allowed to gather for worship. And I thought to myself that I enjoy hearing Scripture read out loud. And so I figured there were other people out there, and so... Here it is almost three years later, and I'm still doing this. I, there's, I, I miss a day or two here and there, but for the most part, I get up every morning and I read uh, Scripture. Uh, I follow the Revised Common Lectionary, the daily readings, and it usually starts off with a uh, psalm reading and then an Old Testament reading and then a New Testament reading. Uh, Sundays are a little bit different. Uh, uh, they offer There's more readings on, on a Sunday as the Lord's Day. So uh, anyway, so that's what this is. Um, coffee in the word where it's God's word and a cup of Joe. Um, so grab you some, grab you some coffee and enjoy. Uh, so this morning we're going to start off in Psalm 128 and then we're going to numbers and then we're going to, uh, finish up with Hebrews. So Psalm 128 and as always, may God bless the reading of his word. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be blessed, and it shall be well with you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Behold, thus shall, be, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon you. I like that. All right. Uh, next, we're going to go to uh, the Old Testament. Uh, Numbers chapter 21, verses 4 through 9. And this is the, uh, the passage about the bronze serpent. From Mount Or they set out by the way to the Red Sea to go around the land of Edom. And the people became impatient on the way, and the people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us up out of, out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food and no water, and we loathe this worthless food. Then the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, so that many people of Israel died. And the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a fiery serpent and set it on a pole, and everyone who is bitten, when he sees it, shall live. So Moses made a bronze serpent and set it on a pole, and if a serpent bit anyone, he would look at the bronze serpent and live. Hmm. All right, uh, next to the, the New Testament, we're going to Hebrews chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. Therefore, holy brothers, you who share in a heavenly calling, consider Jesus, the apostle and high priest of our confession, who was faithful to him who appointed him, just as Moses also was faithful in all God's house. For Jesus had been counted worthy of more glory than Moses, as much more as a builder of the house has more honor has more honor than the house itself for every house is built by someone but the builder of all things is god now moses was was faithful in all god's house as a as a servant to testify to the things that were to be spoken later but christ is faithful over god's house as a son and we are his house if indeed we hold fast our confidence and our boasting and our and our hope. All right. And this is the word of the Lord. And next we'll go to the Pray Now app and I'll read the prayer of the day. Oh, 
All right, let us pray. O Lord, you granted your prophet strength to resist the temptations of the devil and courage to proclaim, proclaim repentance. Give us pure hearts and minds to follow your Son faithfully, even into suffering and death, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right, well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. So thanks for watching. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee and the Word. God bless.